One of the main challenges facing biometeorologists is to determine whether a particular ecosystem is a source or a sink of carbon. Plants and trees take up carbon from the atmosphere through photosynthesis, and those same plants and trees release it to the atmosphere through respiration. Soil microbes also release carbon to the atmosphere through respiration. One of the methods biometeorologists rely on to measure these component fluxes of photosynthesis and respiration are chamber methods. And what we have in front of us here is a Lycor 6400 photosynthesis system. And with the help of Andrew Hum here from the Biometeorology and Soil Physics Group, we're going to use this instrument to measure photosynthesis in the, these leaves. Uh, Andrew, can you tell us a bit about the, the 6400 and, and its components? Sure. Uh, it's quite a simple instrument. It's made up of two components, the uh, computer system or the console, and the second would be the chamber. The Lycor 6400 has two chamber cuvettes, the broadleaf chamber and the conifer chamber. Uh, we'll focus on the broadleaf chamber today. The chamber is connected to the control system through these uh, control uh, serial cables and the gas cables that connect the air flowing to, from the chamber computer to the chamber cuvette. The chamber cuvette has uh, many environmental control systems. There's a light source, Nick can open that. A PAR sensor, which is a photosynthetic active radiation sensor measuring radiation from the sun. Fans that control the temperature of the chamber cuvette and gas analyzers on the bottom of the chamber. There are two gas analyzers for this Lycor 6400. One is the reference and one is the sample. The reference flows directly from the chamber computer to the gas analyzer. The sample goes from the computer to the chamber cuvette and back to the analyzer. The Lycor 6400 measures the difference between the reference and the sample, and photosynthesis is calculated from the difference. We've seen what all the components of the Lycor 6400 are. How do we now go about making a measurement on a real leaf? Uh, the LI6400 works just like a computer, and uh, you can actually see what I'm seeing on this screen on the laptop computer you have here. Uh, basically, when you want to measure uh, photosynthesis with the Lycor 6400, you would uh, create a new file in the system to log data. And once you do that, you can control uh, the four variables I introduced earlier, light, um, temperature, CO2 levels, and humidity. And how do we, um, I can see how we might be controlling temperature with uh, the fans, um, but how do we actually control CO2? If the, te if the uh, CO2 level in the chamber is fluctuating, how do we do that? Uh, the Lycor 6400 can control CO2 using uh, two ways. It can con reduce CO2 by using uh, chemical scrubbers uh, are located on the side of the system here. And we have uh, compressed CO2 gas in a uh, 12 gram cylinder that injects CO2 into the chamber system. And to do that, you install it to the center of the 6400 computer system. And it's installed now. And uh, depending on how much CO2 you need, the computer will adjust that accordingly. The first step uh, for measuring a leaf is to match the two sensors, the sample and reference. Because we're interested in the difference between the reference and sample measurements of CO2, it's important that the, t the two sensors can measure the same value for the same uh, air that's flowing. So we will match right now. It takes about uh, one or two minutes for the system to match itself to wait for the CO2 levels to uh, equilibrate. To put a leaf, it's quite simple. You just uh, press down on the black uh, handle and the chamber opens and slide the leaf into the chamber and then clamp down. And it would click and that's and it click. shut, okay. The next step would be to open a log file. And for our purpose, our file name would be test and enter. So now we're set. Uh, okay. 
The next step would be to set your conditions of the chamber, so uh, our variables like the solar uh, radiation, temperature, uh, CO2 levels, and humidity. And in this case, um, we have a light source, so we can, we can decide how uh, light or dark to make the chamber. Yeah. Okay. So why don't we try and give this leaf full sunlight to start with? Sure. So all I'd have to do is uh, set the computer to input uh, 1,800 uh, micromoles of uh, quantum flux. And that's full sunlight yeah. on a, when the sun is highest in the sky, generally about 1,800. Yeah. Because the light source is creating lots of heat, uh, the leaves don't like that, so we would like to uh, control that a little bit. So we'll change the block temperature to 20 degrees Celsius. Next step is to determine when is the right time to uh, log a file. And typically, we will wait for the leaf to equilibrate inside the chamber. And that would take typically one to two minutes. This is the main screen of the Lycor 6400 interface. Uh, this is a CO2 reference, a CO2 sample, flow rate, relative humidity, and photosynthesis. These are the main uh, icons you would look at when you're taking measurements. How do we know this leaf is actually photosynthesizing, removing carbon dioxide from the chamber atmosphere? Uh, now that the leaf has stabilized, uh, we can view the leaf um, by viewing the grass. Left-hand side, there is uh, photosynthesis shown here. Uh, and how do I know it's actually uptake rather than release of carbon? Uh, it's an uptake because you can see how it's steadily rising with time. Mm -hmm. And uh, the actual sign of the, the magnitude of the number, does that tell us anything? Yeah, that tells you uh, approximately how much it is uh, uptaking okay. CO CO2. Another important graph is to check the uh, difference between the reference and the sample CO2 levels. And as you can see on the right-hand side graph, uh, CO2 is uh, on the sample end is steadily decreasing, while the reference is uh, almost constant at 400 ppm. We can measure photosynthetic uptake now with this piece of equipment. Um, what kind of experiments can we do with it? Uh, there's a lot of different type of experiments that could be done with this system. We're just going to do a light response curve. Uh, measuring photosynthesis at different light intensities and we can do that with the uh, light source at um, a range of uh, light conditions. And I'm actually running an experiment right now, maybe we're already halfway through, and I can show you um, how it is on the graph. There are different points at different light conditions. On the graph you can see photosynthesis and PAR, uh, your photosynthetic light radiation. At higher uh, uh, radiation, you get more photosynthesis. And as you get to lower um, radiation, the photosynthesis uh, decreases. So basically, you can see from that that this leaf is responding to increasing light levels with increasing levels of photosynthesis. Yeah, exactly. We've seen how we can use the Ally 6400 instrument to measure photosynthetic uptake in a, a maple leaf. But biometeorologists will use this instrument widely in an ecosystem to measure uptake in a number of different kinds of vegetation. And they'll do experiments like we did today with light response to build models of how all of these different components of vegetation respond to light, temperature, and moisture. When we do that, we have a much better understanding on how ecosystems in the aggregate respond to all these different environmental variables and how much carbon they remove from the atmosphere annually.